Okay, today we're going to mod Elder Scrolls for Oblivion for the 360. This also works for the PC, and I'll show you the steps for the PC as well. So, the first thing you want to do is to go to your Xbox, um, go to uh, System Settings, uh, Memory, Hard Drive, Games, Oblivion, uh, find your save game, move it to a USB device. And you want to take your USB device, plug it into the computer, and you want to open this program right here, USB XDEF GUI. Go to File, Open Device, Contents, Your Profile ID, 4253071D, or sorry, 4253071D1. You want to open that, 000, whatever, one file. Now, mine says save three because it's a fairly new file. Yours might say, like, save 50 or save 100 and something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. As long as it says save, and you don't need autosave, just save. You want to hit extract. I'm saving mine to the desktop. And you can minimize this for now. Always, 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 always make a freaking backup. It's not hard. Just paste. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Okay. Now, you want to open this program right here. And these programs right, right here, I'll include in the description. PC users, you only need these two. Yeah, it's not hard. So, you want to open up Horizon Beta. Go to Package. Well, you want to click on Tools, Package Manager. And you want to open your save game. Not the copy, the original. You're going to go to contents, check this, and click extract checked. And I'm going to save this in the desktop as well. Files extracted successfully. OK. And we're going to minimize the program for now. Now I'm going to show you how to use Elder Edit. You open it, click open and find the d game data dot dat you just uh, extracted which I know mine says HP video file but that's because HP video uh, uses dot dat and it's the default file on my computer it's the default program that opens dot dat on my computer so that's why it says that yours may or may not say that depending on what uh, you have set on your settings but just find game data dot dat you open it. Now this is a fairly new game so I have like one potion and it's the damage health. You can change the name of it like you can change it to whatever you want you, me, well my bad me or F you whatever it doesn't matter and you can change the effects on it like I can make it I can make this potion Chameleon uh, by 100% for a duration of 999 seconds. Click OK, whatever. You can save that. Once you're done, you click the save button. And uh, on a side note, PC users don't go, don't use Horizon to get your game data dot dat it's uh it's already out all you have to do is open your save file in elder edit and then you do what you need to do save exit now uh... 360 back to 360 users you need to uh... go back to horizon right click on game data click replace and find your modded game data dot dat you want to rehash, save, rehash, and resign. Click OK. And then you can exit this. Now the other part I'm going to show you is in this the same program. Go to Game Modders. And click right until you find Oblivion. Go to Open. Find your game save. Not the copy, the game save. and you can change your name, your level, your gold, 
your log picks these stats right here they can only go up to 255 in here because that's as far as the number will go in hex which would be FF FF and hex is 255 and in your skills you can just click this nifty little button and you have max skills you can change these stats it's kind of pointless but whatever um, if that's what you want, click max the elbow stats, whatever. You can change your hair color. And, but of course, when you're done, click save. Saved, rehash, and resigned. Okay. You can ex. Okay, well, um, PC users, you would click load PC save, obviously. The inventory diamond only applies to uh, diamond members only. You don't have to register for these though. And the inventory doesn't really matter that you can't use that because that's what the elder edits for. But anyway, you can close this. You can close this. Then you want to reopen your USB XDAF GUI. Delete your old save and inject your new save your modded save. That's injected so you can close this out. Now note if you screw up go to your backup delete this uh, portion that says copy and you can uh, inject that back into your file or you can uh, delete this portion make a copy of it and then use this to mod to try to mod again. And of course I'm, I'll add these to the description and if you want to add more than 255 to your attributes or skills, all you have to do is uh, create a ring or buy a ring that has an effect to it. Um, it doesn't matter what the effect is. Uh, show, do what I showed you in the Elder Edit mod. Change it to whatever you want to add. Like let's say you want to add 100 to acrobatics. So you uh, find the ring that you have that has an effect on it. Change the effect to add to acrobatics the magnitude 100. Then use the uh, absorb skill glitch, and basically that is where you have a ring. Where while you're in game, you have a ring that let's say boosts your acrobatics by 100. Then you uh, duplicate that ring by two by using the duplicate scrolls cheat. So you or the glitch. So you have like two of the same scrolls. Double tap that scroll. Uh, drop drop the ring. Pick up both the rings that it, uh, both the rings that it drops. Then you have two of the same ring. Put on one of the rings, go over to your scrolls, double tap the scroll that you have two of, and then go back to your rings, drop the one you're not wearing, and you'll absorb that skill. So yep, that's all I got for you, and uh, have fun modding.